now in our today's session we'll study translating needs into the requirements that is in module number 3 the next bit translating needs into the requirements is another vital part of the quality management requirements management is concerned with meeting needs of end users through identifying and specifying what they need requirements may be focused on customers where the main concern is to describe what is wanted rather than how it it should be delivered or requirements may be described in any way between have an adequate understanding of what the users need and how the market is likely to meet that need the identified voice of the customers should be translated into the specifications or requirements we need a system for translating consumer needs into appropriate requirements at every stage from research through the product design and development to manufacture distribution installation and marketing sales and service on such systematic and organized approach for evaluating customer needs into product requirement is quality function deployment it is also abbreviated as qfd translating needs into the requirements is a method wherein a business will find out the essentials essential needs of a customer the most important part of this process is discerning between needs and desires a customer may say they need a product to be specific size and color but those are not critical to the functionality they are not truly needed they are not truly needs when the needs are understood and separated from the desires a company can translate those needs into the production requirements the other variables and wants are not requirements but would be beneficial for sales in a continuous improvement translating needs into requirements helps to solidify a focal point to work toward if you no end goal is sight the quality will not improve as much as is needed and you may end up improving in wrong areas business that exist to sell products are constantly striving to understand the desires of a potential market for their products the people in the market play an important role in the shaping of the products that are manufactured and sold through their decisions to buy or not buy translating needs into the requirements refers to this evaluation process if customer needs products that meet certain criteria they will base 
purchase decisions on finding items that meet those criteria once manufacturers identifying the needs that customers are using when making those decisions productions of goods will be modified to make fulfilling those needs into a requirements for the finalized products continuous improvement refers specially to the refining of the manufacturing process so as to allow for finding and eliminating waste in the machinery finding and eliminating waste in labors and materials and production methods in the process of using a continuous improvement philosophy one of the goal would be finding more efficient means of ensuring that the finished product has the requirements defined by the customer needs now we'll study the kano model in kano model you can see the dissatisfiers these are must be called as must be characters related to cost of entry the second one is satisfiers these say more is better these are related to competitiveness the third one is dissatisfiers these are latent needs related to differentiators satisfying basic needs allows a company to get into the market satisfying performance needs allows a company to remain in the market satisfying excitement needs allow a company to excel to be world class dissatisfiers or basic needs also called as must be are the expected features or characteristics of a product or service these needs are typically unspoken if these needs are not fulfilled the customers will be extremely dissatisfied now an example of an unspoken needs when staying at a hotel is cleanliness this includes a clean bathroom clean linens a pleasant fresh aroma in the air when a person books a reservation in a hotel they do not request a clean room but they expect it if this basic need is not met they will be extremely dissatisfied now satisfiers or performance needs these are the standard characteristics that increase or decrease satisfaction by these degree or level these needs are typically spoken using the hotel example again the spoken needs could be internet access a room away from the elevators a non smoking room the corporate rate etc now the third one the most important one is satisfying excitement needs these are also called as wow factors 
called as delighters. These are the unexpected features or characteristics that impress customers and earn the company extra credit. These needs are typically unspoken. Think of the double tree hotels. Those who stay there are delighted by a fresh baked chocolate chip cookie delivered to their room during turn down service. There are some of the examples. The Kano model is very, very important from the examination point of view. Please go through it. Thank you.